One of these products is my new obsession. Hey beauties, I know the moment we've all been waiting for. I am the last person on earth to try this concealer powder duo, but it's happening, okay, it's happening. I went to pick up the new Fenty Concealer in 390 and I got the powder in Honey. I'll show you guys me with some swatches on my hand at Sephora because I was trying to figure out what shade to get and I really was like struggling, okay? There was so many options, but eventually I decided that this one was gonna be my best bet. So I tried this concealer on along with my current favorite one, which is the Too Faced uh, Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. Can you guys guess which is on which side? Like, can you guess? Because one of these products is my new obsession when it comes to whatever it is. <laughs> so stay tuned to figure out which one I am obsessing over. Let's get into the video. I'm going to use the foundation in 420. I figured I might as well go all Fenty face on ya. You know, all Fenty full foundation here. I'm going to apply this. I think I need a new bottle of this foundation because mine is running out. Okay, so I have my little goodies in here and seat the goodies. All right, so I got the concealer in the shade 390. I felt like it was the best one for me. I love when brands make little baby versions of the foundation into concealer. It's just the cutest thing ever. All right, we're gonna we're gonna try this out. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna just do. Ooh. This is hands down the best concealer I've ever tried in my entire life. Like, I think we're all real good. We don't need to try anything else. Like, this is this is it. This this is definitely it. Like, I'm just getting you guys. Okay, I'm just gonna apply some here. It feels kind of gel like, like not. Um, yeah, it feels kind of gel like. And I see a little bit of radiance coming from it. I'm gonna just blend this out to see how it looks. Mm -hmm. Right now my favorite concealer is from Too Faced, the Sculpting uh, Concealer. I pretty much compare any concealer that I try to that one since that's my current favorite. Okay, so right now with one layer, the coverage is medium. I do like the color a lot. I'm gonna add another layer to see what happens. Add in my second layer. I felt like it didn't like cover up everything. Um. Alright, so there is a little bit right here. There's like a little bit of patchiness. But I think that might go away if I add another layer. But I'm seeing some patchiness going on. I don't know. Like, it's a little patchy. Alright, I'm going to apply my other concealer on this side. Because I kind of want to see what they look like, like side by side. I'm going to use Born This Way Maple on this side. I prefer this consistency just because um, for concealer, I just like how thick it is. The Fenty concealer, I feel like it's more of a foundation, like the formula, but more for like foundation than concealer. All right, so this is one layer of the Too Faced side, and I don't know if you guys can tell, but I like this side better. I'm gonna add another layer because I put two on the other side. I, I'm not the biggest fan of this concealer. Like, I'm really not. I'm not gonna even sugarcoat it. Like, I don't really like the way it's looking. I'm gonna apply some concealer up here. Look at my nose. I'm just gonna apply the concealer everywhere that I would normally. I just wanna just see what's gonna happen, okay? I wanna see. Maybe I will really love it with a third layer. Maybe the third, third time's a charm, you know? This added a little bit of coverage, but it's a little bit patchy, especially like right in this area right here. I don't know if, it, if you guys can see that. Right here, there's a big patch, and then like right here, there's some patchiness. 
Some concealers have that sticky consistency and what happens when you try to blend it with a sponge or even with a brush, like it picks up the product off your face a little bit and then you don't get as much coverage. So that's kind of what happened with this one. Um, and I have a couple concealers that do that, that, you know. All right, so I did my brows because they were, you know, looking a little bothersome. And we're gonna move on to the powder. I have the shade Honey. I saw like they had a little um, chart and it said brightening. So I thought, okay, this is perfect. I love to brighten under my eye. This is called Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder. The good thing about setting powders is they could actually make your concealer look 10 times better. So let's just see how this all works out. I'm just gonna take some of this powder. This shade is kind of like a yellow beige. Okay, so the powder actually looks pretty nice on top of the concealer, but I can still see like the patches sticking out. I'm gonna try this powder on my Too Faced. I don't know what it is, but it smells like powder brush. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh, this powder is bomb. This powder is really, really nice. Now, I freaking love it on this side. On this side, like, the concealer kind of, like, makes it not look as good. But on this side, yo, like, this powder... This is my new favorite under eye powder already. Like the color is perfect. It looks absolutely flawless. Like it's amazing. Let me just put some under my, on top of my eyelid. Oh my gosh, I love this powder. It's bomb. It's really bomb. Like it's just so smooth and wow. I really love it. Okay. I'm gonna apply some down here. Powder is definitely my new favorite. I really love this powder. It's just really nice. The concealer, I think I need to try it again because I personally was not a fan of it for my first impression. This eye has a lot more creasing going on than this side. Um, there's definitely some creasing and some patchiness here. There's some patchiness right here. There's some patchiness right here. And like, there was a little bit right here, but the powder helped cover that up. So I finished my entire face of makeup. I wanted to see what, you know, everything would look like all together. I wanted to see if my opinion will change on the products. I feel the same about the concealer. It's, it's just not my favorite. The powder is definitely my favorite. This is my new favorite powder, you guys. I am gonna go pick up a couple more shades. I wanna get a nice brown shade for, I wanna get a nice brown shade for the rest of my face. And I also wanna get another yellowy type of shade because I really, really love this powder. My face under my eye right here and like everywhere I applied it looks flawless. I tried to not watch reviews on these products because I did not wanna get influenced or like have my opinion be altered based on what other people were saying. It was so hard because my entire subscription box was full of Fenty and I had nothing to watch besides fitness videos. So I was watching fitness videos all week long because I really did not want to see any reviews on this. I did not want to get my opinion, you know, to be like influenced by someone else's opinion. So if you have $34 and you needed to get one of these products, I would definitely get the powder. And then if you want to later on get the concealer, but I would definitely start with the powder because it's my favorite and I really, really love it. I don't even know how someone could not like this powder because it looks so good. Like I really don't see how someone could not like it. it. It's a really, really bomb powder. Like the formula is really good. They definitely nailed it with this formula. So this is my first impression. 
on the new Fenty Beauty Concealer and Powder. Let me know in the comments below if you picked anything up, what your thoughts are on these products and that sort of thing. Please subscribe to my channel, click the little notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!